Hi guys, my name's Ellie. Welcome to my channel. I promise I'm not actually this ghostly pale. It's just the powder is still sitting there. Anyway, I want to do a palette focus, but I have two of them. So these very, very cute palettes are from Igneous Cosmetics. Um, they're little six pan palettes. And I could probably get away with using just this one, but I want I might use the other one, so I'm going to mention it anyway. This one is called Lakeside, and I believe it is... Um, that's called Lake Balsam Fir Spruce, Cedar, and First Frost. And they're really cute. The little hand-painted taps. And then this one, which opens a little better, is Cozy Cabin. So it's got, um, hmm, maybe I did it backwards. Maybe it's Honey Gold Apple Pumpkin Pie Cheesecake Log Cabin Fig Jam. Nope. Fig Jam, Flannel PJs, and Merino Sweater. I don't know. I'm bad at judging how the layout on the back lines up with the front. But, yeah. They're pretty. They're cute. I got them off of Etsy. And I want to try them out because they look cute. And I'm much more interested in indie brands lately. So, thought we'd play with them. And then I'm wearing olive green with some flowers on it, so I thought using a lot of the green tones would look nice today. I'm just going to put some eyeshadow primer on. Um, neither of the palettes come with mirrors, which I will write with, but that means I will be using this mirror to see what I'm doing, and I'm going to be pulling my cream shade out of this palette as well. So I did leave extra powder on my face, just in case any of these have fallout, because I haven't used them before. I've swatched a couple of them, but not really like properly used or applied anything so I don't know what the fallout is like um, and this is an entirely new formula to me so I'm preparing for a mess okay primers down let's do we'll just do this buddy so I'm using uh, free spirit for my cream shade today because that first row is just they're all good for setting my lid and I feel like the slight yellow tone of this will tie in well with the green shades yeah just a little yellow so I don't know about you guys but I've just with the amount of drama and not so great releases, I've been a lot more interested in indie brands. Stuff like this where I don't have any history with this brand, but I was interested in it. And I gave them a quick look. They also they did a really cute thing. Um, with the package, they sent all of these um, stencils, which I can't show you. But they're, um, they're all, like, maple leaf-shaped stickies, so you can peel this off, lay it down, do some swatches, and then peel it up, and they'll be in a cute little shape. And so, and they've got more in here. I'm going to do that at some point. I just haven't because I'm not on top of it. I am also going to real quick put some of this beige cream shade uh, that has shimmer in it on my brow bone because I've been doing that and liking it and I'm trying to pan this palette. So, it just seems to add a nice soft highlight without being too much um, and sometimes I can run over it again later to soften an edge if something's not blending out the way I want it to. So yeah, that's that. Mm, I think Hmm. I think we're going to start with cedar, cedar, that one, and we're going to just chuck that in the crease and go from there. I don't know which ones I'm using where. We will find out as we go. Okay, yeah, pretty pigmented. Let's knock a little off. Okay. So that's like a nice 
Like, it's not too intense, but it definitely looks buildable, but cute. There's a lot of kick up in the pan, but that's fine. I kind of expect that um, with a lot of my matte shades have a lot of kick up in the pan, so it's no longer a thing where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm losing product. I'm like, you're going to never go through this. Don't worry about that. But yeah, I just feel like indie brands have been doing, at least the ones I've seen, they've been doing more interesting color shadows. They've been doing stuff like this, which is like little capsule collections where if you just wanted some greens and blues, done. If you just wanted like some nice fall tones to round out your palette, done. You don't have to buy a whole huge thing and their pricing is quite nice. I'm going to do a little bit more of cedar. Just kind of build up the shade because it looks, it looks a little bit more pigmented in person but I would like you guys to see it as well and I think we've got some room to play. And I want to say, I'll look up the price and I'll put it down below, but I want to say I didn't spend more than like 60 bucks for both of these. Which, that sounds like a lot for 12 shadows, but it's really not. I do want you guys to see how much powder. So, a lot of powder, but again, I'm just not that concerned about it. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to run the same shadow under my lid. I can probably just pick up what's already in the pan. Yeah, I quite like that. Do, 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 do. I think I'm going to put a little bit more just so that I feel happy. I've been liking a stronger lower lash line lately. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm having a lot of fun following and being excited by indie brands. And since we're coming towards the end of the year and with next year, I want to do I think, let's do this guy, I think, what did I decide? Okay, I think I decided that this is balsam fir, so I'm going to try that. Just kind of on the outer corner, add some depth, maybe a little in the crease. We're going to stay with that small brush. I think next year we're going to try a really, really low buy. Because I have a lot of products and I do want to pan them. And I think, because of the things that I have, like I'm going to still be buying foundation just because I haven't been keeping more than one running at a time and I just don't have enough of a backlog to make it through the full year. So I will be buying those stuff. I'll still probably be buying primers and setting sprays and some of that stuff. But for like colors for eyeshadows and blushes. I really don't think I'm going to be buying much and I'm alright with that. I think I want to kind of trim my purchases down to I'm going to allot one non-replacement like so replacing a foundation type thing. I want to kind of trim it down to one a month and then let them roll over kind of like um the, the beauty news ladies, Kat and Haley, they did a no-buy for most of the year where they allowed themselves one purchase a month and if they didn't use that purchase, it rolled over into the next one. So they had a total of 12 purchases allowed per year. And they did really well up until the end when we got around holiday. I think they've kind of abandoned it now, which that's fair. I'm really liking these. Normally I don't go as much into the green, and I feel like the fact that um, the green we started with is so 
kind of yellow toned. So it's blending out a little bit more nicely than like a bright green. Or maybe I'm just in the mood for it. Who knows? And we're gonna just blend the edges a little bit. I think I waited a little long on this side because this one blended really nicely and this one's all right. Yeah, not bad. Just not quite as seamless. So, and I'm going to take the same shade with this little pointy brush, that darker green, and we're going to run it down here. Maybe all we're doing is using the greens. Maybe I don't actually need the other palette, but I showed it to you and we can do it later. Yeah, I think, I think we might just be doing greens. So then I think I'm gonna take spruce on the lid and then first frost in the inner corner. I think that's how I've decided that the layout works. We will find out. I don't really know. So let's start with this. This is very pretty. And shows up quite nicely. Yeah, these all blended really nicely together. It made such a pretty look. I might add a little extra depth in the outer corner just because this shade is kind of ending up the same tone as that one that we originally had the depth with. We'll find out. I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. Yeah, I think we're just gonna, I'll start with balsam fir and maybe do a little bit of balsam fir and lake to deepen up the outer corner. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's chuck a little bit of lake in there and see what happens. Okay, it just kind of looks like I matted out the other side, but I'm going to do it on both sides just so we have it done. And I'm going to ruin it by just taking that shimmery shade over it, because if it's going to look like I did it on the whole lid, we might as well do it on the whole lid. Looks quite nice. Okay, and then we'll get a tiny little brush, a little fluffy brush, and pick up first frost. So yeah, you can tell I like a palette when I just get distracted by all the pretty colors. But yeah, I think I'm gonna try. Oh, that's very pretty. Just buying less, and of the things I buy, I want them to be. Like for now, I'm probably going to stick to the more mainstream brands for foundations and powders and stuff. But if I find a good one, we'll try some indie brands. And I'm, I'm guessing most of my color cosmetic stuff, blushes, highlighters, eyeshadows, um, the things that's going to tempt me to buy are most likely going to be indie brands. Because that's really pretty. I'm sure I'm a little fuzzed out for you guys based on the lighting, but that's really pretty. And... I got a whole look out of a palette that I was expecting to need to pull something in for, and I used all but one shade. So this is very nice, and I think it's a nice addition to my greens. I'm going to go finish my face, and I'll show you guys once we're done. And this is the finished look. Um, I really like it. I feel cute. I get some of the dress, 
I think they go together. I think it's a nice look. I think it does um, pair some really nice greens together. I think the color story of that little palette was really, really nice. I did throw a little liner under there to tie in all the blue and green. Um, but yeah, I have to go hang out now. I'm, I'm quite excited. I'm a little nervous about wear time. If I have any issues, I'll add like a little follow-up. Um, and I'll try to review these at some point. I just don't know when I'm going to do that with my current plan for filming. So, this is what we get for now. First impressions. Um, really nice application. And I like the color story. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.